Blitzers, the muffin here. The Heat and Steel event is going to be happening from August 4th to the 14th. Now, when watching the marketing video, you may think, oh, I could play 100 battles and then get the WZ, but <laughs> it's not necessarily the case. Basically, what it's saying is within of the first hundred battles you play you have the chance to earn cases cases are what you need to either earn the key the pathway to the key um, or the pathway to the wz now they don't specify how many cases you need to get either unfortunately but from my experience in the past is if you are an above average player which i think the average win rate of blitz is about 46 percent then you most likely could have a chance within those 100 battles to earn enough cases to get the tank. If you're an average player, you may have to spend a little gold to get the tank. And if you're below average, then <laughs> you, you might as you, you most likely will going to have to spend gold anyway to get the tank. So looking at how the cases work is for every 10 XP you earn in a battle, you get one case. Now, to be as effective as possible and to help you get either the key or the WZ, go to your tank stats in game. And if you click on the star at the top, it'll rank your tanks from most uh, earning XP tanks um, to least. And you have to remember, this is only for tanks of tiers five through 10. So look at your highest average XP earning tank tiers five through 10, and that'll help you get either the key or the WZ the fastest. So when looking at the WZ, I just have a couple replays here back to back. Um, <laughs> you've got to be careful with the marketing videos because they make this thing just look super powerful and destructible, just like the killer of the field. And that is definitely not the case with this tank. It's a capable destroyer, as you can see here in some of these replays, but outside of the marketing videos, um, hopefully this will help kind of give you some sort of uh, feel for it and how it works. Um, it does have that 122 millimeter. You do have to give it a second to aim in, as you can kind of see here. You have no armor in this thing, so you very so much have to use the landscape to protect yourself. Um, it's got some okay, like decent, actually decent maneuverability, and the turret itself can rotate about 90 degrees, but yeah, you definitely don't have a fully rotating turret. Um, so the marketing video can really mislead you on this. Um, the tank really isn't um, as powerful as maybe you would think, but I mean, it's okay. I don't, honestly, I don't play the tank a ton. Now, in going in and talking about the Smasher, because um, if you want to earn, you can, I think you can earn both, but um, if you go the, the path of the key, then the key will allow you to open a crate that'll give you the chance to earn the Smasher um, or like the certificates for the Gravedigger or the Tankenstein or the Scavenger. But <laughs> the thing is, is that um, you don't wanna get your hopes up too much and just think, oh, if I get the key, I get the Smasher because that's not the case. Basically, what it is, is you have a 4% drop chance, I believe with one crate. <laughs> to see if you get that. Um, that's pretty low. So you doing all that work. So just to give you some context of potentially how much work will be involved, uh, if there's 100 battles, each battle is seven minutes long, but on average, they're about maybe four minutes long, four to five minutes. So in that 10 day period from August 4th to the 14th, in order to hit all 100 battles within that time frame, you're gonna have to spend about seven hours playing Blitz. Um, <laughs> and for some people, that's a lot of time within those, um, within that time frame. So 
if you want to be on pace or ahead of that schedule, if you play blitz for at least an hour a day, that should definitely get you there in time. So here, just going into another replay here, basically with the WZ, being that I have no armor, I need, I, I need to rely on uh, my team's kind of spotting. I need to use the landscape as mentioned to protect myself. I'm trying to get myself in a spot to support my team. Now you are a tank destroyer. So if you've watched any of my tips and tricks videos, you're, you're supposed to be putting yourself in a position to play a supportive role. And you, you do have that maneuverability um, and flexibility in a way to get around the map, but you very much so have to rely on the landscape to protect yourself, like hide behind rocks and buildings, and never put yourself in a position to rely on your armor because you, you will just get absolutely wrecked. So you can see here, I was trying to shoot that T-43, just kind of zooming the shell velocity. That kind of gave you an idea there. You do want to aim a little bit further ahead um, when shooting moving targets. Here, I'm just being very aware of my circumstances. Um, you know, I'm trying to look for shots and be a little careful. Like I said, I have no armor. If I pushed up and went, I could probably be a little bit more aggressive here. And that's what I'm doing is moving up our team is actually doing pretty good. If they were falling apart, um, yeah, like you want to definitely be more in a position that you, you could help them, and that's what I'm trying to do here. So I'm getting a little bit more in the action um, using my speed. So I wasn't as aggressive as I could have been in this replay, but it gives you kind of an idea of the, the penetration. When you're against other Tier 8 tanks, carrying that... Uh, APCR round is definitely going to be helpful because when you come across other tier 8 heavies frontally, even with that T-32 aiming down on its hull, um, I needed that APCR round in order to penetrate that front, but was able to get the shot off there on the side. So honestly, like I said, I mean, it's an okay tank. I, I don't really play with it that much. It's definitely not as powerful as the marketing video makes it seem um how it mentions that the players will feel you know the most heat <clears throat> as they've ever felt or whatever and destroying a tiger too like <laughs> i can guarantee you the tiger 2 is a way better tank than the wz um but anyway uh, hopefully this video was able to be somewhat helpful in regards to explaining the event maybe what to expect like I said, the only key piece of information I didn't have, um, as you'll most likely see it tomorrow, was just the, knowing the exact amount of cases needed. But um, like I had said, if you, if there's a hundred, if you're an above average player, you most likely could get the WZ um, within those hundred battles. If you're an average player, you're probably gonna have to spend a little bit of gold. You do have three days after the event, and you can exchange one gold for one case. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful. The muffin here, stay cool and keep tanking.